Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a different video for me. I've actually never done like online a project pan type of video. In my daily life, I do try and be more mindful of my spending, especially the past couple of years and using up products. So I do do empties videos where you see me using up products, but I have this issue <laughs> where I will get partway done a product, I will see pan, but I just won't use it completely up because I don't wanna get rid of that product. I just hold on to things when I shouldn't. I should just completely use it up, get the satisfaction of an empty and just be done with it and not hold on to these nearly empty packaging. But people do project pans totally differently. When I was looking into doing this, I know there's specific rules that people follow and do, but for me, I more so just wanna be more mindful and more intentional of when I'm spending my money and to try not to buy as much product and to use up what I have. So that's what a project pan is going to be for me. I'm also doing a rolling project pan. So if I find that I was too easy and things are using up quickly, I'm gonna continuously put products into my project pan to use up throughout the year. So I may have check-ins, I just don't know <laughs> when it will be. I don't know how this is gonna go for me because I've never actually had a sit down, pull product situation where I'm being mindful of using up these specific products. So I did go through my collection. I put some products I wanna use up in this bag that I got from Laura Mercier, it's super cute. So I figured this will be my project pan bag. I also wanna put up more videos and not feel like I have to have a full beat for every video that I do. Just come on here with my natural everyday makeup. I'd like to do more of and not feel like I need the lashes, the glittery eyes and the full on, you know. I just wanna come on with more me and natural, you know? Anyways, you're here for the products. So let's see what products and for what reason I wanna use these products up. So the first one is my Charlotte Tilbury powder. I'm trying to be so serious about this. Imagine if I was serious about this. <laughs> I'm getting the wheezing. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, we're not starting there. But imagine, I'll probably be done this in two days, quite frankly. So that was just a joke, I'm sorry. I actually repurchased the full size, so don't worry. I'm not serious with that. I could put this powder in. Can I use up a whole powder in a year? Do I wanna do that to myself? I don't know if I wanna set myself up for disappointment. That's the thing. So these products are used already. I put in two bronzers into my project pan cause I've used up a bronzer before. It's something that I personally use a lot of and I feel like this isn't setting me up for disappointment. I feel I can use these two up or at least make a really good dent on them. So I put in a cream and a powder depending on my mood. So the first one that I wanna use up, cause it's a cream and I know I love this, is the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in Teddy. I have almost hit pan on this. As you can see, there's a big dent in that. I feel like throughout this year, I could very well use that up. So that's a good place for me to start. Not too hard, I feel, to do. I go through creams quite fast. This is kind of my backup bronzer because some days I just don't wear cream. Most days I do actually, but this is the MAC Give Me Sun. And this is old. I wanna use it up just to say that I've used up a MAC product recently. And I was using this in 2020. The little dome has taken off. So I have been using this quite a bit. It's flattening, but I wanted to continue my use of this into 2021 and see if I can use up my Mac Give Me Sun. And when I use it up, I can back to Mac. Do they still do that? I don't know, pandemic? Let me know. <laughs> I've been saving all my Mac. Can we still back to Mac? I have no idea. I also have two foundations in here. One, I know for sure I'll use up because it's my favorite of all time currently. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I'm wearing that today, my absolute favorite. And then I put in this La Mer one because quite frankly, it's too expensive to go to waste. So this is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. This isn't really my color right now. I'll have to use this on days when I don't have too much color or mix it in with a foundation, but I do love how this looks on its own. And I think I would really like this if it was actually my color. This is neutral 22, which is okay when I'm fair, but I might have to mix that. That's gonna be hard for me, but honestly, 
that's too pricey to go to waste. So we are going to try and use that up for my project pan. A concealer I figured was a good bet for me. This is the Dosa Colors Concealer, which I love, which I've made a good dent in as well, which I'd like to use up this year. And this is the problem I was talking about. I will hit pan on products and then set it aside. Like I might need to use it later on. I might need those last couple uses, you know, but I should just honestly use it up, clear out the space in my makeup collection. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. You can see like I very well <laughs> went through this. I just haven't bothered to use it up. So that's kind of where I'm going with a lot of these products. Like I just need to use them up. Don't hold on to them. Just use them up. You paid money for them. Just use it. And then also this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I really like this and it doesn't get enough love for me. And I find that I could go through this quite quickly. So this would be another satisfying used product for me if I could use this guy up. I can also use that with other primers I like too. And then here's another product along the lines of the other ones. Recently, you guys would know that I got the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Gummy Bear. And since I got that, I stopped using my original. So I don't have that much left in here and I just need to use it up. Like we're almost there, just use it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna be mindful of using this first. So these are a bunch of products that I'm just going to use on a daily basis to try and use up over the year when I'm not filming or trying new products. And then I have a lip gloss that I'm almost done as well. It's just a mini, but I honestly don't go through lip products that much. So I figured throw in a mini and then we can reassess throughout the year. So this is Fenty Beauty Sweet Mouth. It's one of my favorite glosses. I was gonna buy the big size, but I talked myself out of it. I'm like, just use up the small one first. You don't need to buy backups anymore. <laughs> like just stop what you're doing. We had a little sit down with myself in 2020 and here we are. <laughs> and then I have my one size powder, which I also got in a mini cause that was another thing. I was trying to buy the minis to be mindful of how much products I'm buying and stuff like that, save my money. And I actually really like this. So I would like to buy the full size, but I'm definitely gonna use the small one first. And along with makeup, I decided to put in some hair and body stuff. I'm the type of person who buys a million different hair products. I use it a couple times and then it just sits collecting dust in my cabinet under my sink. I just recently organized it. And this is so old, but I wanna finish it. It is the Beyond the Zone Pro Formula Flipped Out Spray-On Finisher Fight Gravity Do It Upside Down Hairspray. Looks like this. I'm pretty sure I bought this in my vlogging days. It's hairspray, it still works. Not like I'm putting this on my face like back in the old days. If you're around my age bracket, we used to set our faces <laughs> with hairspray prior to going out. That's before setting spray was a thing. We would lock our makeup with hairspray. Not good for your skin and I don't recommend, but that's a thing of the past. So I'm gonna be using this in my hair. You should see what this does. Hold on. This hairspray gives so much volume to your hair. I need to brush it out <laughs> right now. It's looking crazy. Properly used, this is honestly a beautiful hairspray for volume. It does get a little bit crunchy, but it gives you body. And I love how it finishes the hair. It really holds it in place. So that's one of the hairsprays that I wanna use up and stop buying more, which I'm not going to use. And then another hair product, I used to know how this was called. That's how long ago it was when I bought this. This is the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. So I've been into the big hair recently, trying to get some volume in my hair. And this does help when I am blow drying my hair. So I wanted to get my money's worth of this product. And once I'm done this one, I'll put in another Orbe product that I have kicking around under my sink that I wanna use up. So hair products, like for sure. That's one thing I need to start using up. I honestly never put product in my hair and I just need to use what I buy. And then the last thing, and this is a category in general, it's body moisturizer. And this is specifically an everyday gradual tanning moisturizer from Bondi Sands. And for me, I like hardly ever moisturize my body and I wonder why I have like eczema on my chest right now. 
So that's one thing I need to do is moisturize my body, but I buy these gradual tanners and never maintain my tan. So I figured I would probably have to self tan less if I actually utilize these products that I purchased. So this is going to be in my project pan. And that's my whole thought process behind this whole video and series that will start in 2021. So I hope you guys enjoy this idea. I know I'm not the first person to do this and I've seen other people do project pans before, but I figured it's a good idea to use up your products and just be mindful and intentional of what products you purchase in the future, like hairsprays, body moisturizers, self tanners. <laughs> Tell myself no. <laughs> that being said, I'm not gonna be too hard on myself if let's say the best hairspray in the world came out tomorrow. I would buy it to review for my channel. So I'm not going to be too hard on myself and be like, you can't buy that, even though I'd want to review it. And that's just random. Probably would be a makeup product, like a bronzer, like I don't need. <laughs> that is my whole thought process and all the products that I wanted to start off with my project pan. And I didn't want to put in anything that I knew would be too easy for me, like a brow blade or something like that. These products I feel like are moderately hard for me to go through and not impossible, like a highlight or a blush for me. I don't think I've ever hit pan on one of those. So I didn't wanna make it impossible feat for me to do, but something that I can definitely incorporate into my everyday makeup and just try and utilize the products I have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you find some inspiration from it to do a project pan yourself. Let me know if you have products that you wanna use up this year in the comment section below. I'd love to have you join my project pan and maybe we can discuss over the course of the year how it's going. So I'll definitely do an update. I'm just not sure when. Once I start actually using up some of these products, then I'll do an update on this video series but until then I have no idea when it's gonna come <laughs> maybe quarterly maybe just mid-year we will see how it goes but thank you guys so so much for clicking on this video and watching I hope you like this new series for 2021 being mindful and intentional on our spending for beauty products be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe before you leave I would love to have you stay by hitting that red button the bell if you want to be notified of all my future videos and I will see you guys in my next one